The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is facing the new challenge of removing highly radioactive debris in order to continue efforts to stabilize the number three reactor. Tokyo Electric Power Company on Friday found debris emitting 1,000 millisieverts of radiation per hour in an area south of the number three reactor building. It's the highest level of radiation found in debris outside. <laughs> Materials emitting 900 millisieverts of radiation per hour have also been found in the plant's compound. These materials are believed to be part of the large amount of debris that had been blown off in hydrogen explosions back in March. Go ahead. Make my day. In the area around the number one reactor where removal of debris is making progress, radioactivity fell to nearly half the reading of early April. But radiation levels are still high in some areas around the number three reactor, which is hampering work to install devices to stably cool it. The company says it will speed up the removal of debris by using a remote-controlled vehicle so that it can bring the reactor under control by mid-July as planned. The company says it will speed up the removal of debris by using a remote-controlled vehicle so that it can bring the reactor under control by mid-July as planned. <laughs> Funny the operator of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says injection of nitrogen gas into the number one reactor came to a halt for more than three hours on Saturday due to mechanical trouble. Ah, uh, what do we do now, liberal affirmative action shithead, peacenik commie fuck? What do you want to do now? This is nothing, uh. piece of cake! Tokyo Electric Power Company continues to inject nitrogen gas into the reactor's containment vessel to prevent the recurrence of a hydrogen explosion that took place in March. On Saturday afternoon, a TEPCO worker found that the device to inject nitrogen installed outside the reactor building was not working. Injection later resumed using backup equipment. The utility says data indicate that nitrogen gas had not been fed into the reactor for over three hours. But TEPCO says pressure inside the containment vessel remains almost unchanged and there is no increase in the risk of an explosion. The company is looking into the cause of the stoppage. The company is looking into the cause of the stoppage. It is safe. It's a code word for broken. I think I'm entitled. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth.